Hello guys, welcome to the Great Guitar Build of 2021. So I moved on with shaping, chamfering and sanding a backer for this opening. Without this backer the cover plate would drop inside the control cavity. Moving onto the top, I started to lay out the design of the FO. I decided to go with a triangle arrangement for this build because I like the look of it. After pre draining some pilot holes, I used a coping saw to cut out tiny triangles roughly. I moved on with the DIY Dremel router with a 3mm 2 flute bit. This left a very nice surface so there was not much sanding required. Then I continued with sanding the sides roughly to make sure there are no high spots or dents. Because in the next step we will route the channel for the binding. And if there were high spots and dents, you will see them in the finished groove. After the sides were smooth enough, I started routing out the binding channel. So this was the first time me doing a binding, so I was very nervous and I tried my best. So next up will be the binding. I decided to go with flame maple and black poplar binding. So I started with my hot steel tube again. The bending process was the same as with the sides. It was very hard to bend them. Because the flame maple will crack so easily if you don't apply a lot of pressure. Just to see it in real time, this is how it looks while I'm heating up the binding. It took me about 4 hours to complete the bindings. So then I used some blue tape again to hold it in its form while cooling. So after they cooled down enough, I started to glue them in. I used some blue tape to apply pressure to the corners, so there will be no gaps in the end. Next up I started to work on the contours of the body. Using a Shinto rasp, hand plane and a drum sander attachment for my drill, it was very easy and a fast process. I decided to go with a slight bevel to the side so it would feel more comfortable.
So sadly, some of the binding chipped away. So I just used a chisel to carve out the affected area so I can glue in another piece with matching grain. To finish up the bevel, I used the good old sanding block to create a very nice line and a flat surface. So, this is the end of episode 3. We are roughly finished with the body. So now, in the next episode, we can move on with the neck. I have some great ideas for that and also did some sketching of the headstock and for the inlays and I think it will turn out very good. So, the only thing is the time. Today we have the 8th of June, so I just have barely two weeks left to finish this build. Wish me luck, we will see us next time. <laughs>